Today's video is a review of the new e.l.f. Sun Touchable Woe Glow coming in at only $14. All chemical sunscreen. I have a wear test. I have it on this morning underneath a matte foundation. I also tested under a natural finish foundation as well as on its own. And I know those of you who have been watching my channel for a while are probably saying, why is Sean testing out such a glowy sunscreen that literally says Woe Glow in the title? And to be honest with you, I only bought this because it was new and I thought you all might be interested in it because I was like, mm. I don't like a glow. <laughs> but I was pleasantly surprised. Oh my goodness. Watch this review and wear test, then I'll give you some facts and wrap up with my final thoughts because my opinion of this is going to surprise you. Join me in my mission to prevent skin cancer by subscribing to this channel. Day two wear test of the Sun Touchable Woe Glow 30 SPF uh, e.l.f. skin. Now, I got a little gypped on this. I got picked this up at Target and it was $22. But on Ulta website, it's $14. On the e.l.f. website, it's $14. So don't pay $22 at Target like I did. Don't make that mistake. I tried this out yesterday under makeup and did a TikTok on it. And my first impression was very, I was pleasantly surprised. I'm gonna do two fingers worth. It is a thick, it's a thick sunscreen, but it doesn't feel greasy when it goes on. I feel like the color is good. Now I know it says Woe Glow, so I was a little bit like, mm, I'm not sure if I wanna try this one. Plus it's all chemical and you know me, I like to have some sort of a mineral mineral component to my sunscreen, but I'm gonna put a mineral foundation on top that has a mineral SPF on top. So I'm not gonna worry about it too much and I will reapply throughout the day, but not with this one. I'll reapply with a mineral sunscreen before we go outside, so. This is glowy when you first put it on. And you know me, I don't like a glow. And it's supposed to act like a primer too. I don't like a sun kiss glow. I'm gonna give this 10 to 15 minutes to set down and I'll be back. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes and it still feels tacky, but it's supposed to be a primer under foundation. So that should be a good thing. Obviously it's glowy because the bottle says, whoa, glow. <laughs> I can't believe I bought this. I can't, I can't believe I bought this. It's so glowy. I can't believe I bought this. All right, I'm gonna put makeup on it and I will check back with you in two hours. It is an absolutely gorgeous day today. And look at this. This is two hour check-in. I don't know what happened right there. <laughs> I think that's an old zit. Um, I think it's gorgeous under foundation. It sets so well. I don't even know how to describe it. I've got a little bit of texture here, but this is a problem area of mine um, normally. I don't know. I love the way it makes my foundation look. All right, I'm gonna finish testing this out for the rest of the week. And then what you'll see next are my final thoughts. Okay, final thoughts. But first, do you notice I'm wearing a lot more makeup than usual? I purchased the Beautylish Lucky Bag for the first time ever, unwrapped it. I'll leave the video to that linked down below. And I'm wearing brown lipstick. Does brown lip lipstick look good on me? It's the first time I'm ever wearing it. I've got a blush that I got from there. I was blown away, I got super lucky, oh yeah. Blonde hair, it's a little much for even me. It's chemical, yes, it's SPF 30. Do I wish it had mineral in it? Yes. Do I wish it was SPF 50? Yes. Do I hate it? Absolutely not. You guys, this gives like a bronzy sun kiss glow. I can't wait to test this out in the spring and summer because it's not sticky greasy. It comes out thick, but it applies thin. You don't feel it on your face. On the website, it says it has hyaluronic acid, aloe, and squalane, which it are all great moisture boosting ingredients. And it's supposed to give a hint of peach tone shimmer, non-greasy, and that's exactly what it does. There were also pictures on the website that showed this looking great on much darker skin tones, as well as light skin tones. And I totally agree, this works fantastic on mine. It just adds a healthy, Sunkiss Glow, maybe a hint of like a bronzery look. I don't know, you guys. I mean, you saw the wear test and it does fantastic under makeup. I tested this 
several days under two different foundations. It works fantastic. This is this is the matte one. If you like a matte finish, this isn't going to affect that. It looks healthy. Oh, you have surprised me. I may have to take back that I'm not a glowy sunscreen girl because I would wear this on its own in the spring and the summer. And I have been wearing this alone around the house. <laughs> I mean, I might take a little powder to tone down the shine on my nose, but I really like this. This surprised me so much and it's only $14. Have you tried this? Let me know down below how to work out for you.